I was with my family, uh, my entire nuclear family and, and Linda. Here I was, you know, 28 years young when I was diagnosed with uh, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, an incurable cancer, an incurable leukemia. I remember getting a phone call from him. He was crying, whew, which makes me want to cry. And he said, um, I'm going to die. My primary care physician contacted my father, who was also his patient, and told him, Glenn has chronic lymphocytic leukemia, and I would give him about six months to live. So Glenn was a young man, and he showed up, and he was absolutely angry. And he didn't want to believe that at his age, this was a death sentence. I knew that I wasn't going to just watch and wait, and I wanted to be more involved in my own uh, self-care. So I went on a, a journey to learn as much as I could about the things I might incorporate in my lifestyle to create you know, overall the healthiest person that I could be who happened to have a diagnosis of chronic lymphocytic leukemia. In the summer of 2003, uh, for the first time, I started to feel the full force and effect of, of the leukemia. Um, his disease had gone wrongly. He had been seen at Hopkins, and they told him the same thing. I said, Glenn, sometimes we have to play medicine. Um, he actually said no. He said no. And then he decided that he would come to me not as a treater, but as a credible assessment. I just had this little experiment going. I was this, you know, N of one. I really wanted to test my body and my mind to see how could I impact where I was at. He's asked me to write things. I said, no, Glenn, I didn't do any science. I can attest to one thing, what you say about yourself in the stage of your disease is absolutely correct. The second thing I can attest to is you did it your way. It started to be a significant change in my blood chemistry to a point where the blood counts were completely normal. Glenn is the most extreme type of patient who basically decided he's going to engineer his own solution. Can you spontaneously remit to chronic lymphocytic leukemia? The book says no. Whatever magic he did, his disease disappeared. So every time I've staged his disease, it got better every time. Seven years since I was able to clear my marrow of leukemic cells, so a complete and durable remission. The idea is to become the most inhospitable host to cancer possible, and you do that by strengthening your immune function. You do that by working on getting into the strongest emotional shape that you can be in and, and utilizing uh, nutrition and physical activity and clean hydration and restorative deep sleep. For me, the lesson that I learned is anything's possible. We don't take anything uh, for granted. We're, we're grateful that we continue living a healthy lifestyle that hopefully, you know, keep me in a good place for a long time.